Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video, we're going to be providing some background information on the vertical stress below a uniformly loaded circular area. So just like we've seen with point loads at the ground surface, we can use Boussinesq's theory to compute the vertical stress beneath the center of a uniformly loaded circular area, which is at the ground surface. So this is gonna be the governing equation that we have to compute that stress at some depth Z. So the way it reads is sigma sub Z equals Q, times this big quantity right here, which is one minus one divided by the term R over Z squared plus one. And then that R over Z squared plus one collectively is raised to the three halves power. Now Q is gonna be the pressure at the ground surface in terms of, for example, KSF, PSF, or pascals, kilopascals. So this Q has units of force divided by area. Z is the depth below the center of the circularly loaded area, and R is the overall radius of the circularly loaded area. So let's go ahead and draw this out. I'm gonna first try to draw it in 3D, and then I'm gonna draw some 2D representations of this. So in 3D, if I'm looking at, at this circularly loaded area from, a, from kind of an angle or the side, it's gonna look something like this. And then we're gonna have this uniform stress distribution that is spread out over this circular area. So I'm gonna do my best to draw this just like this. And again, this is the uniform pressure distribution, uniform pressure equal to Q, which is gonna have units, of course, of force divided by area. Now, the point that we're interested in calculating the stress at that's below the ground surface is gonna be beneath the center of this pressure distribution. So if I'm moving down uh, beneath the ground surface to some point, let's call it maybe point A, it's gonna be at a distance of Z below the ground surface. So uh, whatever point you're interested in calculating the stress at is at whatever depth Z below the ground surface at the center of that circle, okay? Below the center of that circle. And then the overall radius here is that capital R value, okay? So if you wanted to look at maybe a 2D side view or profile view of this, you can consider this to be the ground surface and then the uh, uniform circular area is right here. And again, that's gonna have a magnitude of Q. And then beneath the center of that circle is this point A right here, which is at a depth of Z beneath the center of that circle. And again, the radius R is the overall radius of the loaded area, capital R. And then uh, again, we would call this a profile view. Profile view. And then a top view, if you wanted to draw a top view of this, looking down on it, you're gonna have this circle. That's maybe not the best circle I've ever drawn. And uh, here is your radius R and um, your, your uh, force or your stress that's, um, that's you know being applied to the uh, circular area is this stress distribution. So these little X's kind of represent the that set of stress vectors going into into the uh, screen at us. Okay, so um, now what if we wanted to calculate the uh, the stress? at a radial distance r away from the center that is intermediate, okay? That's maybe um, not beneath the, uh, the center of the circle. So um, I'm gonna throw in a reference here. I'm gonna say we can reference, reference the textbook Das and Siva Coogan. And um, I'm referencing the fifth edition, but they've got, uh, they've, you know, DOS has some other editions where um, 
he has the, the same kind of information. Um, but I'm referencing table 8.4, okay? And in this reference, um, we can say table 8.4 uses an influence factor, which is I sub 2. That's what the this reference calls I sub 2 to compute sigma sub z at a radial distance of little r measured horizontally from the circle center. Okay, so if you're looking at this table 8.4 in this particular reference, you enter the table with the following information. We're going to say enter the table with Z over capital R and little r over capital R to obtain that influence factor I sub 2. And then your um, sigma sub z is going to be equal to little q times I2. And again, I'm referencing um, the textbook entitled Fundamentals of Geotechnical Engineering. It's the fifth edition by Das and Siva Kugan. Um, there are, that, it's a great reference. There are also other great uh, geotech or soil mechanics books that will have similar um, information and similar tables with influence factors. So you're able to calculate the stress at a point other than the point beneath the center. So for example, um, if we wanted like the stress underneath a point that's some radial distance little r away from the center. That's what we're referring to when we use this table 8.4 from Das and Siva Kugan. So that's going to conclude this video um, on this background information. If you found this helpful, please hit like and subscribe.